Assalamu alaikum students. How are you? I'm your instructor Muzaffar Sayyid and I do wish for all of you that you will be having a wonderful time of your life. These days are very important, very critical for all of you. So keep studying with absolute focus and absolute energy. Today we are going to discuss another important topic that is actually the continuation of the last topic, uh, logical problems. We discussed the three scenarios in uh, last topic in last lecture and today we are going to discuss another two scenarios for logical problems. So let's go to the light board and discuss what can challenge us. Lay students, we are at the light board and today as I have told you in the intro, we are going to discuss some more scenarios of logical problems. We have discussed the three scenarios in the last lecture that, uh, that was uh, only one follow, only two follows and either one or two follows. Now we are going to discuss the other two scenarios, the remaining two scenarios of logical problems. The first statement we have is some kings are queens and the statement two is All queens are beautiful. Now before moving on, let me tell you one thing that was obviously discussed in the last lecture but I am repeating it to uh, re-emphasize the thing that you will have to believe what is written in the uh, premise. That is the most important thing. It may seem illogical to you, but you will have to believe what is written in the uh, premise. So, here you will how the kings can be queens, but you will have to believe it because it is already stated as a fact. And the conclusions, the possible conclusions we have been told are All kings are beautiful and then all queens are kings. Now these are the two scenarios, these, these are the two conclusions we have been told and lastly we have the options that is only one follows, beta only two follows, Charlie either one or two follows delta neither one nor two follows and eta both one and two follow. Now let's draw the Venn diagram. The statement one is some kings are queens. Now you all know we can draw it many different ways. that will be king and that will be queens. In the same way it can be drawn like this. There will be queens and there will be kings. It can also be drawn like this.
Now here some kings will definitely be queens. So ye b ho sakta hai and then finally we can draw it like that as well. Queens and kings. But will again may mean the same thing that some kings are obviously queens. And then the second one are all queens are beautiful. Now there is uh, a possibility that it means All queens are beautiful, can be uh, drawn like this and it can also be drawn like this, that all queens are beautiful. Now we combine them. So, let's see what we have done now. Combine banana. Some kings are queens. Yes, it can be like this and here we have queens and because all queens are beautiful, so it can be like this, take it. इसको हम कंपेन कंबाइन कह रहे हैं किससे इससे ठीक है दैट ऑल क्वींस विल बी ब्यूटीफुल तो इट मींस के द क्वींस आर एक्चुअली ब्यूटीफुल देन वी कैन कंबाइन दिस वन हियर यू हैव द किंग्स And here you have queens that are beautiful. So, we have isko kya kya? Isko or isko actually hamne combine kar diya. Now, let's try to combine uh, the figure three with this one. That is, these are the kings and these are queens. And we know that all queens are beautiful. So again, no condition is violated. Yahapar bada clear. Now I'm combining this fourth figure with this one. That is Queen Kings and Beautiful. Yes, that is okay with it. And now, this figure ko bhi iske saath main compare kar raho. Combine kar raho. That is Q and B. Or obviously, that will mean K. Sahi hai? Ab hum chalte hai or in statements ko hum वैलिडेट करते के सॉरी इधर रहेगा क्यू के साथ हियर वी विल गेट के बिकॉज क्यू तो सेम है और क्यू के साथ के नहीं आना और बी साथ रहेगा ओके लेट्स वेरीफाई द स्टेटमेंट ऑल किंग्स आर ब्यूटिफुल हियर इट होल्ड्स ट्रू बट हियर इट इज not here too it is not proving worthwhile and here too it is not considered the true so this one will automatically be excluded and all queens are kings here to be clear that 
ओनली सम किंग्स आर क्वींस तो वहां से भी पता लग रहा है यहां भी देख लेते हैं ऑल क्वींस आर किंग्स नो ऑल द क्वींस आर नॉट किंग्स इट इज नॉट वैलिडेटेड हियर हियर अगेन ऑल क्वींस आर नॉट किंग्स हियर टू ऑल क्वींस आर नॉट किंग्स इट इज ट्रू हियर बट हियर इट कैन आल्सो होल्ड ट्रू बट वी कैन सी that there are at least three instances where this statement does not hold true so our right option will be option delta that is neither one nor two follows because we have seen that both these statements are not verified when we put them to when diagram ab hum chalte hain iske last scenario pe aur apni example dekhte hain स्टूडेंट्स एक और एग्जाम्पल हम देखते हैं एंड लेट सी वट वी हैव फॉर अस इन द बॉक्स स्टेटमेंट वन इज ऑल फ्लॉर्स आर फ्री एंड स्टेटमेंट टू इज नो no fruit is a and the conclusion we have r no fruit is a flower some trees are some trees are flowers now again uh, i have told you in the previous chunk of this lecture that you will have to believe what is being told as premises jo bhi aapko premise diya hua hai jo bhi ya agar multiple premises diye hue you will have to believe that these are true like all flowers are trees now it does not seem to how can the flowers be trees but you will have to believe that all flowers are trees so isko dekh le pehle now again we have the same options alpha is only one follows beta is only Two follows. Charlie is either one or two follows. Delta is neither one or two. follows and eta is both 1 and 2 follow now let's draw the diagrams so that we can check whether our conclusions are true or not or which one of the conclusions is true all all flowers are trees so it can be drawn in two ways you know that is flowers and that is obviously tree it can also be drawn like this that all flowers sorry it must be f all flowers are trees both in uh, in both these diagrams we are actually representing our statement one and you know uh, all wale jo hamare uh, premise hain wo hum uh, dono tarah se express kar sakte hain then secondly no no fruit is a tree this is the easiest because it means you'll have to only construct 
one figure that is fruit and here you must have three. Now we need to combine these two figures or they can say up and could he curse it too. If we draw the first one, if we combine uh, this figure, so we'll get all flowers are trees. Take it. All flowers are trees and it's from Thora up me understanding to your clear card it on because we don't know what's a shirure and no fruit is a tree. It means that the tree uh, that the fruit should not overlap with tree. So my first figure kya banegi. This is very important. Be very careful about it will get the figure like this because this is the only figure that can satisfy both these statements here all flowers are trees yes and no fruit is a tree that is also okay but here again if I say Let's talk about the second one. That is flowers and tree. Here again, the fruit section should not intersect with anyone because no fruit is a tree. So, if we intersect with so this statement will be violated. So in both these cases, there must not be any intersection between fruit and trees. Ab isko hum dek lete. No fruit is a flower. No fruit is a flower. And here again, no fruit is a flower. So option one, option conclusion one holds true. And then some trees are flowers. Yes, some trees are flowers, definitely. And here too, some trees are flowers. Got it? So we can safely say that in this question, our right option will be option eta, that is both one and two fall. Now these are the five scenarios usually discussed. Now, uh, I'll discuss some more examples of all these five scenarios and be very vigilant while drawing those when diagrams because the error you make uh, while attempting these questions is only the error of drawing these diagrams. If you have correctly drawn these diagrams, there is absolutely no chance that you will make an error while marking this. MCQ. So let's move on to some more examples, draw some more diagrams and learn some more tricks to solve these types of questions. Let's go for it. And this time the statement we have is number one is all fish are toy toys and second no tortoise is a crocodile. So these are the two statements. And if we talk about conclusions, we have two conclusions and they are no 
no crocodile as a fish and no fish as a crocodile. And again we have been given the same options. Alpha is only one follows beta only two follows Charlie either one or two follows delta neither one nor two follows and eta both one and two follow. So again going back to the basics all fish are tortoise it can be drawn in two way now you have got the expertise that is actually fish and that is tortoise and it can also be drawn like this all fish are actually tortoise so both these uh, scenarios represent our statement one and then no tortoise is a crocodile here we have the tortoise and obviously no tor tortoise is a crocodile means that there will be no intersection between the two now let's move to the next level and that is of combining these two shapes kaise combine karenge if i combine this and this or considering these two statements it must be fish and tortoise but we know that no tortoise is a crocodile it means that c must not intersect with this t or f obviously and same is the case with second one is to be combined karenge to yahi banega If we combine these two, F and T, and obviously because no crocodile, uh, no tortoise is a crocodile, that is why the crocodile circle must not intersect the tortoise circle. So now evaluate our conclusions. No crocodile is a fish. Obviously. No crocodile is a fish. Here too, no crocodile is a fish. So, the universal negative होंगे ना, that are the easiest to solve. वो सबसे ज़्यादा आसान है, because they'll have the minimum shapes to handle or to tackle. As you can see in this question, and we have seen the same in the previous question as well. So, no crocodile is a fish. that is true and no fish is a crocodile that is also true and that is true in both these cases so what shall be the correct option for us obviously that is option eta 
दैट बोथ वन एंड टू फॉलोस सो होपफुली ये वाले क्वेश्चन हैं बिकॉज दे आर कंपेरेटिवली वे इजियर देन द रिमेनिंग फोर सिनारियोज सो आई डू होप दैट यू वुड हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू हैंडल वेन यू हैव यूनिवर्सल नेगेटिव प्रेमस इन योर क्वेश्चन अब हम चलते हैं बाकी के चार सिनारियोज पे लेट सी वट वी हैव इन द बॉक्स ले मेरे बच्चों एक और सिनारियो डिस्कस करते हैं हम एंड दैट इज ऑल रोड्स आर पोल्स एंड द सेकेंड वन इज नो पोल एज अ हाउस and the conclusions we have are number 1 some roads are houses and second some houses are poles and the options we have are the same that is only one follows beta only Two follows Charlie. Either one or two follows Delta. Neither one nor two follows. and eta both one and two follow now again we have to diagram and uh, we have to draw the diagrams all roads are poles it can be drawn all roads are poles and on the other hand it can also be drawn like this all roads are poles and then no pole is a house this is actually pole and obviously this is actually house so they must not intersect with each other because there is no uh, common element now let's check out uh, the combination of these two agar hum pehle ka combination banayenge to it must be something like that r and p now no pole as a house so the circle of house must not intersect with the circle this is your house and secondly if we combine this one this particular shape with this again we know 
we are dealing with roads and poles the house figure must not intersect with this one now what are the conclusions we have some roads are houses no no road is house and same is the case here no road is actually house and on the second hand some houses are poles no house is intersecting the pole and same is the case here no house is intersecting the pole so our correct option will be neither one nor two because hum dekh rahe hain ki nahi some roads are houses and some houses are poles both these uh, conclusions are not verified by using when diagram so we can safely say that here the right option for us will be option delta let's run we are moving on uh, to another example statement 1 is some dreams are nights and statement 2 is some nights are days and the conclusions we have are all days are either dreams or nights so now you can see that this is a different sort of a proposition where we are using this conclusion that it can be either day or night and the second conclusion is that is actually the first one and this is the second one some days are nights so here we have the two conclusion and the options we have are as usual alpha is only one follows beta is only two follows charlie is either one or two follows delta is neither one nor two follows and eta is both one and two follow so now uh, first of all let's draw the diagrams and because in both these uh, premises we have a particular premises and particular positive so there there will be so many different diagrams so some dreams are nights it can be something like this this here we have dreams and if here we have nights it can also be the case with this one
where you have dreams and here you have nights. It can also be represented in a figure reverse to that where here you have dreams and in the uh, smaller circle you have nights. And it can also be represented as dreams and nights. So these are the four possibilities we can have. And then some nights are days. Again, it will be the same figure. Here are nights and here do we have days. It can also be represented as days and nights and we can also represent it We can also represent it like here we have some nights and here we have days and vice versa as well. where you have days and here you have nights. So now try to combine these figures that can satisfy these two statements. Now let's combine these statements and because both the statements are particular positive and we need to draw the maximum number of diagrams in particular positive, that is why be ready for a bit of hard work in this particular question. Whereas you will have to draw each and every uh, possibility um, using that particular portion. So first I am combining these two. It is dreams and we, here we have nights and some parts can be either obviously that can be day is ko hum compare kare. then I'm combining this that is day and night but some part of the nights must be dreams so, this ko bhi maine combine kar diya. Now, let's combine these two shapes. Here I had night and I had day, but some of the nights, uh, some nights are actually days. So, some dreams are nights. So, what do we have to do? We need to actually figure it out. It will be in. These are actually dreams. Now, I am combining this particular figure with this one. So, tabhi aap dekhiega. Here we have the day and here we have nights. And some dreams are nights if I combine it is actually dream. So it is only the combination of the first one. Now talk about the second one. Isko sabke saath hum compare karenge. 
we have dreams and here we have nights and some nights are days so it must be obviously it must be day फिर हम इसको इसके साथ अब कंपेयर करेंगे कंबाइन करेंगे सॉरी दैट इज डी एंड एन एन इज ऑलरेडी देव एंड वॉट अबाउट डी इट मस्ट बी समेयर ड्रीम कहा होने चाहिए यहां होने चाहिए Now, if I compare this shape, shape two, with this one, that is actually n, and that is actually day. But now, some dreams are nights, so you will have to intersect the dreams. Usko obviously ya yahan pe lana padega kisi bhi tarah se. It will have to be there. So, अब इसको कंटिन्यूसली जब करते जाएंगे यहां पे भी आप देख लें तो सम ड्रीम्स आर नाइट्स इट विल नॉट होल्ड ट्रू बट सम नाइट्स आर डेज इट विल होल्ड ट्रू इन एवरी केस सो विदाउट प्रोलॉन्गिंग आई कैन सेफली से विद दीज मल्टीपल एग्जाम्पल्स दैट सम नाइट्स आर ऑलवेज days because nights are always overlapping with the days i hope you have got your answer let me remind you we are here with another example of the same question statement 1 is all educated people read newspapers ali does not read newspapers the conclusions are one ali is not educated reading newspapers is not essential to be educated and the options we have are again only one follows beta only two follows charlie either one or two follows delta neither one nor two follows and eta both one and two now a mistake you often make 
is that you started that you start thinking without drawing these diagrams it may hold some time true but sometimes it can be very tricky and it can give you false results so i always emphasize that while attempting these types of questions do draw uh, do uh, draw diagrams here is a perfect example of it you can use your common sense to get to the right conclusion like all educated people read newspapers and ali does not read newspaper it means ali is not educated it seems true logically aapko theek lag raha but sometime it is a bluff sometime it is an eye catcher so to avoid all these things do uh, draw diagrams and do use these uh, venn diagrams to reach to the right conclusion because sometime uh, uh, during the test especially when you will be there in the hall uh, attempting that paper you will be confused you will be upset so trusting your common sense can sometime be absolutely uh, devastating for you secondly this second con conclusion reading newspapers is not essential to be educated this has to be validated isko to karna hi karna hai validate so if you have to validate why not go and check the first one as well just to minimize or i should say eliminate the possibility of error because remember in md cat you will be fighting for each and every mark and if uh, you carelessly uh, lose a mark or two or carelessly uh, mark an mcq wrong you will regret for the rest of your life ke oh ho kya kiya maine so baad ke pashtane se pehle hi diagram draw karna important hai so let's draw it see dekhte hain all educated people read newspaper so that is np newspaper and it is done by all educated people or you can draw it like that educated people and obviously they read newspaper and ali does not read newspaper so ali draw hum wahi karenge isko has nothing common with newspaper i have chosen this example for a reason because sometimes you feel ke wahan to hum chale keh rahe the ke all a's are b's or some poles are roads and some roads are poles or things like that but yahan par to hum we are talking about a particular action but remember the pattern will remain the same there will be no change in the pattern it will remain the same wohi cheez hum karenge farak sirf kya aayega wahan par hum do objects kar rahe the yahan par hum object aur action kar lenge the educated people they are reading newspaper educated people and they are reading newspaper we are treating the action as an object jaise hum pehle humne kiya tha na all poles are roads for example to bilkul wohi keh rahe all educated people are reading newspaper and here ali is not reading newspaper it is just like humne kaha tha a no a is b it is the same thing no difference at all theek hai to treat aapne isko वैसे ही करना आई हैव डिलिबरेटली चूजन दैट एग्जाम्पल सो दैट यू मे नो एफ समथिंग इमर्जेज आउट इन द पेपर यू शुड बी एबल टू डू इट सो ये हमारे हो गए नाउ लेट्स गो एंड कंबाइन दीज टू शेप्स नाउ newspaper and they are 
educated people. Now Ali stays away from it. Ali stays away from it. एक तो ये हो सकता है, एक इसकी एग्जांपल ये हो सकती है, that is the educated people and that is newspaper and here too Ali will stay away from it, no problem. But there can be another example and that is the most interesting thing. Agar ab sirf in examples pe jayenge, to you will feel that both these conclusions are true. Ali is not educated, good obviously, because Ali is not educated. And then, uh, reading newspaper is not essential to be educated. Now it is not compulsory. Yes, Ali is not educated, it is not included in the group. But it does not mean that whoever is not reading newspaper will not be educated. It is not correct. So here, the only option we need is option alpha. That only one follows. Because this thing cannot be established using these diagrams. In ke through aap jo hai, wo diagram use a diagram ke through jo hai, aap, you cannot establish that fact that uh, reading newspaper is an essential part of education or until and unless you read newspaper you cannot be considered educated. So as this conclusion cannot be established that is why we are going for only option alpha that is Ali is not educated. Remember conclusion is something that goes without saying that is established without any doubt. So, here we establish this. There is no linkage between these two. That is why we can safely say that our correct option will be option alpha. So, hopefully, this uh, scenario will be able to understand it. That was it for today. Uh, this was the last lecture of logical reasoning. I do hope that you would have enjoyed all these lectures and you would have learnt a lot of things using these lectures. In case you have any query, any question or you want to, uh, or you want to ask anything about logical reasoning, feel free to contact me through uh, this comment box and ask whatever you want to ask. Bhaasi dhuayaan bachyon ke liye, jeete rehen, khush rehen, Allah Hafiz.